says introverts are antisocial? A common misconception, but far from the truth. Introverts, my dear viewers, are not a breed of shy, antisocial individuals as popularly believed. They are simply people who enjoy their own company, thrive on solitude, and often find energy in their own inner world. So let's embark on a journey to understand the intriguing world of introverts. First, let's decipher the signs of an introvert personality. An introvert often prefers solitude over social gatherings. It's not because they despise people or find them annoying, but because they recharge in solitude. Imagine a mobile phone, it needs to be plugged in to charge, right? Similarly, introverts need their alone time to recharge their mental energy. Secondly, introverts are usually introspective. They have a rich inner life, often filled with thoughts, ideas, and musings that they prefer to keep to themselves. This doesn't mean they're secretive, but they often require time to process their thoughts before sharing them with others. Thirdly, introverts tend to be good listeners, often preferring to listen rather than talk. This can make them excellent friends, as they are more likely to understand and empathize with others' feelings. Finally, introverts are usually not the life of the party. They prefer meaningful one-on-one -on -one conversations over small talk or large group discussions. This is not to say they can't enjoy parties, but they might need some time to recharge afterward. Now, is being an introvert a disease? Absolutely not. It's simply a part of the diverse spectrum of human personality. In fact, introverts bring their unique strengths to the table, like deep thinking, empathy, and the ability to work independently. Can an introvert become an extrovert? Well, introversion and extroversion are not rigid boxes but points on a continuum. People can move along this continuum throughout their lives. An introvert might become more extroverted in certain situations and vice versa. But remember, there's no need to change who you are. Embrace your introversion or extroversion because both are equally beautiful and necessary in this diverse world. To sum up, being an introvert is not a disease but a personality trait. Introverts prefer solitude, are introspective, good listeners, and prefer meaningful conversations. They can exhibit extroverted behavior in certain situations but don't necessarily need to change who they are. So the next time someone calls you antisocial, remember, you're simply an introvert, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that.